So, today, recently, I've been really interested in time travel. I've been watching a lot of Star Trek episodes on time travel. I'm really into the new series of Doctor Who. So, I wanted to play a game based on time travel. And then, I find that developer, that Microsoft, created a Xbox One exclusive game all about time travel called Quantum Break. So, I immediately ran straight down to my local game, picked this up, and it bored me out of my mind. This is a prime example of how you make time travel boring. And I didn't know how you could do that. I did not know that was possible to make time travel boring. You had a amazing premise. A character who has been involved in this accident that gives him ability to control time to a certain extent. That was so amazing, an amazing premise. But they just bore you out of your brain. But let's, instead of me ranting about it, let's take the horror of examining it. So. Let's jump right in to the story. So, the story. The story follows... I don't even remember his name. Follows our main protagonist being involved in an accident by his brother Will, who has in basically invented a time machine. Um, but an accident happens and his... And, um... One of... And I don't even know the main villain's name has been sent to the end of time and it creates a fracture in the space-time continuum which will eventually cause the end of time and our villain of the story has discovered this and has created Monarch this evil corporation who is trying to create a bunker called the Lifeboat Protocol in order to save a select few members of humanity but none of that matters none of that matters in the overall store game it feels so unnecessary, so boring, because one of the characters, Will, who knows about this fracture and tr created a countermeasure, he could have just activated it at the start of the game, before Monarch even showed up. This game claims to understand the pr principles of time travel. Nerd mode on. Nerd mode on for you here. This game claims to understand the principles of time travel, but it doesn't, really. What you need to understand with time travel, Microsoft, take note of this game to get to sequel. Time travel isn't linear. It is not affected by cause and effect. Effect can happen before cause. So, you've got Will. He activates the countermeasure immediately. And the fracture is sealed in the future. In the future. So, Monarch never exists. Um... Joyce, finally remembered his name, Jack Joyce doesn't get his powers, and Monarch never happens. So your game is pointless by the very principles of time travel. But, of course, it's a video game, you've got to have your story. So, so, they bend the rules of time travel for plot convenience. No! You don't do that! Do that. Even... Doctor Who The Eternity Clock, a game I reviewed when I was still getting used to being a reviewer. Reviewer. Even that game understood the principles of time travel. That effect can happen before cause. Cause. So, enough about the story. Let's move on to the presentation, one of the few good aspects of this game. As a game, Quantum Break looks... Okay, it looks good by Xbox One standards. There's, it's the models are rendered really nicely. There are very few glitches, glitches, and it's overall a pretty decent experience in terms of graphically. Um, the models are good. The graphics are sub are really good. Um, the environments are really good, and everything like that, like that, and. Um, these points in the game where it fra where time stutters um, are really good because everything freezes in place and everything's all frozen and blue and it looks really good. Um, but enough about the 
presentation, let's move on to the game plan. And oh boy! Rant mode! If you thought I was ranting in the story, trust me, you are gonna I'm gonna have a field day in the gameplay. This game has very little actual substance. The game itself is eight hours. Pretty decent length. But it is overall not much of a game. Game, it's more of a TV show. Because at the end of every act of this story, um, there's a 45 minute TV show with some side characters who I don't remember. And I didn't care what happens to them. And the TV show goes, it's not that good. So it fails on both fronts. And if you want to qualify the gameplay, if you can call it gameplay, it's a subpar third person shooter. You know, you've got your pistols, your submachine guns, your shotguns, and the enemies are just bullet sponges. Big bullet sponges. But enough about the terrible gameplay, let's move on to the final level. I want to get this over with. So you've done it. You've gone through eight hours of torture. Beth is killed. I don't care. Just want to get this review over with. Um, and all this happens. Will uh, retrieves a countermeasure. We go back in time to the very beginning where this all started. Where you phase Monarch for the final time. And it's a really boring boss battle where the head of Monarch's throwing bo temporal bombs at you because he's sick with this temporal illness and the good guys win, times reset, blah 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 blah. Someone let me shoot this thing! No. Being shot is too good for this game. I'm going to do something even worse. Q! The continuum owes me a favour. The final rating for Quantum Break is a 4 out of 10. It is below average. It's not worth your money. Buy it at a sale if you want, if you really want to suffer through it as I did. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Fun Reviews, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! What? Are we rolling or something? Oh, it's an outro. Oh, thank you guys for watching this episode of Fun Reviews. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, click here to see the playlists playlist and click there to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye